Welcome to a very special episode of Frankie D Crafter. Uh, things look a little bit different, messy. I'm in the middle of moving my workspace. It's a little bit hectic. Trent hit me up for a collaboration and uh, I was not gonna say no. I didn't even wait to hear what the collaboration was about before I decided to say yes. It was a happy surprise, let's say. I got invited to be part of Monster Bash 2. To think that I would be doing this with some of my friends here on YouTube and not only that, I was able to actually collaborate with people that I wouldn't ever think I would be collaborating with. I can't believe I got to be a part of this and I'm hoping that you guys are just as excited as I am to be a part of this. Without further delay, let's get into what this thing is all about. To start off with, um, this video is probably gonna be a video in a playlist of a whole bunch of creators, amazing friends. But for now, let's try to speed run the explanation here. Monster Bash, what is this? So the first thing we had to do is draw 20 cards. This could have been anything and I decided to just kind of take uh, little sections of drawings I've done before. After you're done drawing, cut them out. We had over 200 cards that we had cut out. I was dumb enough to sleeve them. The next thing we gotta do is we joined up together. Out of these 200 plus cards that we managed to get together, we took out seven of them. I don't know why I'm yelling. This is a, <laughs> <laughs> just Calm so many down, people. Are you nervous? Are you nervous? <laughs> okay. Ready? Ready. Everyone, three, two, one, go. <laughs> what is that? What is... <laughs> is everyone ready to draw your second card? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Three. Two, one, what do you got? Ooh. Hey, my own. Oh. oh, Frankie, yours is lined up perfectly. I love it. I love it. It looks Ooh. just like me. Yeah, you look good. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. So Ooh. is a claw. Oh, we like this one. Oh. Oh. How'd you oh. foot? Ooh. Oh, oh, I think I got many faces. Oh. One, what do you got? Ooh. 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 <laughs> And with those seven cards, we had to create a monster. I love making monsters. So I feel like I had an advantage on this. The thing is, you can, you can assemble them all together, but I also think it's okay to take elements from each card and kind of end mixing it together in whatever makes sense. The first thing I decided to do was actually divide everything. All of the cards that I picked out, I decided to break them down into little details. I'm actually pretty hyped right here. I can't believe I got the Batman symbol. Oh wait, what? This, oh man, it's not the Batman symbol. It's just eyes? All right, all right, I can work with this, I guess. I'll, uh, I'll figure something out. And as you see right here, this is as far as my planning goes. So, you know me, that's, that's just how I do. Make it up and figure it out as I go. We're gonna need a body here. This is practically my canvas, but instead of paint, I'll be adding monster parts. And paints as well. You know what I'm saying. Let's pull up the cards as we make them. Starting off with the dragon card. Dragons have scales, I'll be adding that here, but keep in mind I will be adding other details from the same cards later on in the video. This card was one of the cards that gave me the idea for what I was building in this monster. I felt like I knew what I was making from the second I saw this. 
and the giant kitty claw definitely added to my vision. I'm basically joining the two faces I got in the cards. I didn't want to have a monster with multiple heads. I feel like that would be a cop out. So what I ended up doing is integrating both of the designs into one. So I have this giant jaw, bonish monster. And on the other hand, I have the ape. But I want more of the ape features to kind of show through. For the next part, I had to build the cat paw. And since I have, for some reason, a lot of cats around here now, I think I had the perfect reference for that. I don't know how to sculpt hair. So, um, come along for the ride as I figure out how to sculpt hair. So this was my first attempt here. And as you can see, I'm not great at it, but it passes. My plan is to add layers. I was about five layers in when I feel like I finally figured out exactly what technique I was going with. This is how I made the texture for the rest of the project. I'll just pretend that's not happening next to me for the rest of the build. Let's add some horns from the dragon card before we add any more layers of hair on top of that. I want the hair to kind of drape over the horns. start to tackle multiple cards at the same time. For the next detail, I'll be fusing three cards. The eyes, the boils, and the jaw monster. So I got to what I want to say 90% done when I realized I still have no idea for what I want to do for the plant. It just doesn't seem to fit anywhere in my design. And that's when I took it to my patrons. So this one's on them. They actually gave me the inspiration to make a thorn whip holding a giant boulder, almost using it like ball and chain. That's what it's called. I think that's what it's called. Somebody correct me. But this was a great idea from them, and huge thanks. All right, so I'm skipping over the painting, mainly because I wanna do a huge reveal here. I don't want you to think or know or have some concept of how this finalized. So here it is.
this was extremely fun to do it made me feel like I was in a class of students all art students which is a little bit crazy to think about and it is an amazing feeling to have like I said these are amazing artists that definitely deserve some spotlight I, I still can't believe I was part of this to be honest with you uh, it's huge oh, all right where am I at shoot thank you very much again Trent for uh, even considering making me a part of this loved every second of it madman Trent actually got a bunch of artists together and made what has to be one of the biggest collaborations in tabletop history I don't know if that's true or not but I'm gonna stick to it thank you very much again for everything and like always number one thank the patrons it's because of them that I get anything done so you know shout out to them and if you want to be part of it check out the description below there's a link there it'll take you straight to my patreon page Another thing about the painting process, this was actually a decision from the patrons. Every single color put into this, every single detail put into this was actually decided by them in our Discord tier. So they basically painted this. I was just acting as their, their brush, let's say. 